<laughs> she exceeded it. What's up guys out here today with the uh, V4 Typhon again. I just, I've been uh, dying to give this thing another run. I'm uh, back out here at this, uh, my drift spot construction site. Uh, again, while it's still here, I'm gonna try to use it. Um, we had quite a bit of rain, so the ground's kinda, kinda tacky, which is good. It'll help this thing hook up a little better. Um, first of all, a uh, big shout out to uh, a uh, H Hobby, or Adam Hill. Um, he sent me these uh, uh, new tires, because he basically just uh, truckified his, his uh, V4 Typhon. Um, and he uh, gave me a pretty good deal for tires and, and also a new body, which, which I'm still running the old body. It's, it's reinforced. Um, the uh, v, the uh, guitar tires on these things uh, don't, you know, I mean, they're, they're awesome tires, but they just don't last very long. It, I got through about three runs and they were getting pretty bald where I was uh, losing a lot of traction on the dirt and stuff. So I'll just save those for, you know, just for street ripping and stuff like that. But uh, I did make a couple changes to it. I do, I got the uh, upper uh, voltage upper suspension mount in it now and i went to 100,000 in the center diff um, i did have 200 and that was just that was just a bit much i think for for running a stock setup as far as tires and all that uh, i just didn't really like how it handled so i'm gonna i'm gonna try that um and also i've got the uh, t-bone bumper on the front i got a couple of those in uh i'm running the uh, power hobby uh, 5000 or 5200 50c pack in here now so um Anyway, all right, we're gonna give her a quick rip. Oh, also, I set my steering endpoints as well. So these these uh, Arma servos aren't that bad. I mean, they will last if you set your uh, endpoints to where you don't overextend your steering. So I did that in my crate as well. But all right, let's see what happens. Oh, nailed a big rock. Mad drifter. I also went down to a 17 tooth pinion. Uh, with the temperatures uh, getting a lot warmer, it's, uh, it's in the mid 80s today. I dropped down to a 17 from the 20, just to try to keep her a little, little bit cooler. That was rough. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna attempt the uh, jump to the bank here. This is always kind of scary because there's about a four foot bank. So if, if I end up coming coming up short, she's gonna nail the bank. And she made it. <laughs> Made it again. That's hitting that ramp at full throttle. I mean, I'm completely pegged. <laughs> she made it, but she bounced. Guys, this Typhon is just a complete tank. I mean, total beast of a buggy. <laughs> that envelope. I didn't mean for it to go that way, but luckily it cleared it.
all right i got a uh, i measured off 100 feet earlier i got a line in the dirt out there so i'm just gonna just for the hell of it to see uh if we can send her off i got the uh, short ramps here so i get more distance than, than vertical air so we'll just we'll just see what happens <laughs> she exceeded it <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see it here's the line right here that i measured off before the bash at 100 feet from the uh, ramps so she landed right here so that's that's another good uh <laughs> at least 10 feet 15 feet all right we're gonna measure it off there's the uh 100 foot mark and she landed right here 117 Definitely my personal best. <laughs> Leave it to the Typhon to accomplish it. This thing just never ceases to amaze me. A complete beast of a buggy. I mean, huge shout out to Arma for this thing. Um, uh, I forgot to mention as well that I'm, I switched out to a tactic radio. I just couldn't, I just couldn't take the uh, uh, Spectrum anymore. So uh, I just don't like the throttle, the feel of the throttle. Plus I was having glitching issues with the actual radio. So, all right guys, I had a blast with the Typhon. She looks like she's all in one piece. The chassis is a little, little twisted up, but of course, you know, we got a M2C for her coming, so that'll uh, fix that issue. But all right, guys, until next time, RC Dude 81.